I don't think 2016 is going to be that great of a year here in the United States. I just have a hunch. I hope the hunch is wrong. There's a number of things, though. One, I think racial tensions are going to build up to a level that we haven't seen in the past 30 years. Um, with all the abuse from police that has been increasing with no end in sight for this abuse. Um, and people really trying to do something about it. I, I just think the tensions are going to be high in that area. And though I think that the uh, legalizing gay marriage all across the board was a wonderful thing, I think there's going to... The, we haven't begun to actually see the real backlash for it yet, and I have a feeling that next year we will probably see even some gay bashing, unfortunately. Um, then there are some of the the world policies that the United States has taken on, on a number of things that I don't think are going to go over very well. And then there's there are some bubbles financially, bubbles that are going to burst. One of them is in uh, technology, uh, in uh, internet services related things that is going to make the 2000 uh, bubble bursting, uh, dot com uh, bubble bursting look kind of tame. Um, when it comes to software companies, uh, gaming companies, I think it's going to make the 1983 video game crash look tame. There, there's just so many patterns. There, there, the, uh, there's going to be some issues in entertainment in general that I think are going to be an issue, especially with how we seem to, instead of actually coming up with any sort of new ideas, we're just regurgitating old ideas, doing sequels, doing uh, remakes. Um, the only time that, that any a decent amount of money gets put into any sort of any sort of movie now, it's it's for those types of things. Um, and I just, I... Musically, the only... There has only been one genre of music that has actually had uh, innovation in the production values and production style, and... Uh, that would be within EDM, and that is, I've read a bunch of articles showing that that is dying because it became too corporate. Um, there are periods of years where you can see that we, we have ups in our, our, our creative flow, just in general, our society, what we put out, uh, the way that we come up with new ideas, and there are lows. Like, like a particular year that we had some major ups in that area would be 1968. I mean, it was a year of massive change, and it... And it, it a lot of things that affected that, but there's a lot of things affecting this current time, too, but, you know, from about 1967 to 1975, we, we, we were on and up. Then we, then we, then we plateaued, and then, um, from 1985 to 1990, we took a downturn in that area. Then from 1991 to 1997, we had a nice up, up, uh, flow on that. 
and then we plateaued and then from from about 2000 to 2006 maybe 2007 we started heading way downwards you know during some of the bush years and then 2010 to 2013 we had we were on some nice ups and then last year we were just on a plateau we, we, we weren't going up or down anymore and now this year I'm seeing this downward spiral where okay when we're not in when, when we're not being we're not having this creative flow just in general the, the, what our country does our, our attitudes in society and all that when we are not in that mode then we are busy refining things and we can't survive off of just refining and when things go too far downwards towards just refining it hurts us and I see next year as as catastrophic in that area. I mean, it's like we've lost our ability to. I mean, we may some people may have new ideas, but we've lost our ability to implement any of that. Um, So, like technology-wise, uh, internet services-wise, software-wise, we've got things like Microsoft putting out another OS that is probably going to go over about as well as Windows 8. Um, uh, there's just, it's, it, I just don't foresee that going well. Um, Apple has been... I mean, there's a few things they have here and there that, uh, you know, they, yeah, they, that's nice, but uh, as far as innovative stuff, uh, no. Uh, their innovation died when Steve Jobs died. Um, but one of the biggest ones is Google. Um, I've talked about how Google has a vision, and I've, I've tried to talk about what their vision is. And a number of people would disagree with me, and then a month would pass, and like, oh shit, I guess you were right. Oh shit, I guess you were right. Oh shit, I guess you were right. They just, yesterday, they announced that they basically, they don't word it this way, but this is basically what it means. They have announced that they have lost their vision. Okay. Over this past year, they've let the quality of almost all their products lapse. They'll, they'll continue to do these little things here and there visually or just some element of the, of the user interface for whatever it is. Uh, they'll make these little changes and then act like it's being innovative, but in actuality they've been destroying the functionality, usability, and quality of their products. Even their search engine has, has taken kind of a dump. You often can't find what you're looking for. You can put things in quotation marks and the... the the stuff you're looking for still doesn't show up, you know. Um, now, if they had lost their vision, but the quality of their products was still good, that wouldn't that that would be salvageable. If, um, which way did I just say? Well, anyway, and if it was the opposite, uh, that would still work too. But for them to both lose the quality of their products and lose their vision yeah unless they have some major shake-up in the company that forces them to suddenly put quality back in all their products um, I don't see this going well for Google um, unless they do something very quickly to fix this damage I actually see the possibility of Google filing for bankruptcy at some point in, I'd say, mid-2016. You know, it, I... These patterns don't look good.
these patterns look terrible. And, you know, I hope I'm wrong about this. I hope I'm wrong, because this would affect so much. It would affect the stock market, it would affect our attitudes in society, it would affect self-esteem, it would affect people's moods, it would affect everything. And I'm, I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. <laughs>